So um, I was uh, actually deliberately told several times today I would not be giving a lightning talk. <laughs> so, so this is tot this is really lightning talk. This is maybe like a thunder talk, um, since I did absolutely no preparation. Uh, so uh, the, the the title of the talk is Beyond the Up Arrow. Uh, so what I see is a lot of people, they're you know, working at the command line, they want to do something they've done before, and so they up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, up, up, look for what they were doing before. But it turns out, they're act and I apologize, you can see some of my other stuff here, I'm not going to bother getting rid of it, nothing secret. <laughs> um, what uh, people may not know, there's a lot, there are a lot better ways. There's actually a whole variety of ways of dealing with your command line history. So uh, first, you'll see I actually have a number next to my prompt. Again, this is totally you know, uh, uh, from scratch. I, otherwise, I would have started at 1. But we're starting at 15,397. <laughs> um, so one thing you can do is if you do the history command, it'll tell you, you know, what, what did you type uh, you know, recently. So you can see my, my uh, <laughs> following along yesterday. Um, and uh, so it, again, normally what someone might do if they wanted to, like, say, rerun a uh, cargo build and go up, 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 up. Ah, there we go. But uh, I can see here from running history, well, that was uh, command 15391. So I do bang, exclamation point, 15391. And boom, I'm in the uh, uh, wrong directory. <laughs> but I was able to run it. Again, you, know, you, can, you can tell this is like you know, uh, very uh, unscripted. Uh, so, uh, but you can see I can run that command just by using bang and then uh, the number of that command. There are actually a lot of other sort of bang abbreviations that you can use. So let's uh, start. I'm going to do, uh, let's see if there's a file in this directory. Uh, uh, let me go into a directory that has a file. Uh, here we go. Car uh, I want to look at cargo.toml. So cat cargo.toml. And then I think, uh, oh, I want to cat that out again, OK? Because I asked, uh, you know, uh, whatever. I, I want to do this command again. So you could just do up arrow enter. Uh, you also can do bang bang, which does the, the last command. You think, well, that, that, that actually does not save me a keystroke laboon. Why would I do that? <laughs> uh, but it actually becomes uh, more, interest, more interesting. You can add things onto this, almost like its own little programming language. So let's say you want to see what the last thing you typed was. You don't want to actually execute it. So you can do bang bang colon p, which just prints out what you did. So this can also be uh, common if you want to see something you did like a while ago, like uh, back 13951. I wanted to look. What was that? Uh, I guess I had a typo there. But I replaced B with B equals short B plus A uh, for, for that command. Um, so um, with, with these bangs, you can also not just do absolute references like that. You can say, all right, what did I do three commands ago? Uh, bang minus three. Uh, or what did I do uh, 10 commands ago? Bang, I, I pinged Google, apparently. <laughs> oh, it's always amazing. What do, what do I do in my spare time? Um, <laughs> we also, <laughs> I know, you're all excited. <laughs> so you, we, we can also uh, look at things a little bit more granularly. If we want to access uh, specific uh, uh, elements of, of a, a command that we typed in, so before I had cat cargo.toml, right? But let's say I want to uh, edit it. So emacs-nw, give me the last uh, argument from the last uh, command, bang dollar. So this is going to open up, well, actually, uh, first going to give me a little emacs error. Uh, and then it emaxes the la or edits the last, um, uh, the last argument of the last command. You can actually get uh, more into detail. Let's say uh, instead of just bang dollar, let's say I'm catting a bunch of files. So cargo toml, cargo lock, okay? Um, and I'm like, oh, I just want to uh, edit the f the one. Remember, so there's zero. The first argument is zero. The second is one. The the, the third is two, etc. So bang colon one. Uh, we'll edit the second element of that. Okay. So uh, you can actually combine these two. Like let's say I want to edit. Uh, Emacs, the two commands back, the last argument from it. Uh, and I actually don't want to do this command, I just want to print it out. Uh, so Emacs bang minus two dollar P. So it shows I would have edited cargo.lock. So there's a whole bunch of these bang commands that are actually really useful for constructing your history. And one last thing uh, I wanted to talk about, uh, and for, I know uh, someone said like everyone on, on Rust uh, d does Emacs. I assume that was just the core team. I assume that applies to everyone here. Right. Uh, 
<laughs> so you could actually, what's that? Uh, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, control R does a reverse search. So you can just, from the command line, search, all right, when, and it'll interactively say, all right, when was the last time I used cat? Uh, and then I say enter and, and, and uh, select it. So you can actually do that reverse search. So we have uh, the bang commands, history to see the number, and reverse search.